like I wasn't there mentally. Man. That's him. You know, you guys should be in a draft workout, right? My first memory of picking up basketball I was about two years old, overseas with my dad. It was after, I believe, one of his first or second games. It was like a basketball, and I just ran to pick it up and ran straight to the three-point line trying to shoot three. So. My grandma and my coach, they both passed when I was younger. And I feel like my coach passed and took, took like, felt like a piece of me left because every day he would help train like other than my dad. He was there, he would always push me to get better and become a better person. And my Nana, she played a big role in helping me become the person I am today. So every time I step on the floor, just playing, went on the jersey, and knowing that I'm playing for them, help them. Yeah, growing up, we always was in the gym together. Me and my older brother, my little brother starting to follow up the game a little more. Me and my older brother, we always going at it. We always would hear the brother comparison, like who better, what can he do better than you, what can you do better than him. Who do you think we're winning one v one? As we were younger, we were entertaining a lot, like and really get into it. But as we got older, my dad was like, "Bro, y'all both gonna be good. Just continue working and help each other get better." Younger fears will be on D, oh. and then you'll be able to yeah, so that, how does that work? Uh, four dribble max, uh, you're coming downhill. Once you're done, then you're gonna come downhill, you're going from offense to defense, defense to the other line. Uh, first player to score three buckets wins. Nice move. 1-1. One, one. 
this one. Say, all right, you're gonna shoot uh, 25 threes, and you just have to live with it. And you're like, wait, what? I want to show you I can shoot. And no, we're gonna see how you can shoot 25 shots. So this is what we're gonna do. This is the last thing. So you'll go first. So you're shooting till you miss in the corner, mm -hmm. and say you you miss the first one, you're living with that. Okay. Shooting till you miss. You're shooting till you miss. We'll see what number we have, and there'll be one winner. Okay. So technically, someone can get a zero. Someone can get up 150 if they don't miss. The highest I've seen is KD. He uh, got like a 92. That was a few years ago. Kev was there. Um, Ellie, you can go first. Just. Right, 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 right. Oh. Yeah, exactly. There you go. That big one, hold your fossil, watch Left, left, left. 
They got Dave Brown, John Bow, and Tyler McKinney. Tyler is Mexican. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So she was just like, 
I'll, if I had to choose someone, I'd pick Brad Beal. My dad was like, I agree. And they asked me, and I was basically like, I'm down for whatever. I'm just ready to work.
like I wasn't there mentally when I first stepped on the floor my first two games. Um, it was a big jump athletic-wise and body-wise. So I just feel like I had to step up and stay confident because I knew when, I, when it was my time I was going to shine. So. I never came off the bench. It was just different. Knowing that you're playing with other guys as talented as you, you're playing against top guys in the country, and just knowing my time would be probably cut a little short. You know, you got to play harder and give it all you got. 